Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Urvashi and in today's video I'm going to talk about how you can do your heuristic evaluation and I will give you some steps that you can follow while doing your heuristic evaluation. So first of all I will tell you what is heuristic evaluation. So basically heuristic evaluation is a method in which experts evaluate uh, any product design with the SAT standards or heuristics. These heuristics or standards are the best practices uh, for designing user-friendly products. So it's basically a usability testing kind of a thing in which we set some standards or heuristics and against those standards we, uh, we evaluate the designs, the user interface design that we have created for the product. These are basically a guidelines to evaluate the user interface design of a product. I will give you some steps that you can follow to make your heuristic evaluation effective and to get the great results by using those steps. So first of all, first step is what you have to do is you have to assemble team of evaluators in which uh, there are the heurist there are the people who will evaluate the product you can create small group of usability experts or heuristic evaluators that who will uh, set up a standard of heuristics and against them they will evaluate the ui design of a product so first of all what you have to do is you have to uh, assemble a team of evaluators and also uh, when you have a team of evaluators, uh, there are multiple people in the group, then you have a uh, multiple perspective uh, from different different evaluators. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to assemble a team of evaluators so that you can get a different uh, perspective uh, from them. This is the first. It's an easy one. So you just have to uh, assemble a team of evaluators. Then what you have to do is you have to define the objectives and scope. This is the very important part in which we will define the uh, scope and objective of the heuristic evaluation like what we are trying to achieve by doing this uh, evaluation. And uh, what is the scope? Scope means uh, you are doing the heuristic evaluation of the entire website or you are doing just for a particular feature. So you have to decide that. So for second one is define the scope and objective in which you will uh, define the scope. That means you will decide uh, on how, on on which part of the website or product you want to evaluate. It's a entire website or it's a particular feature of the app. So you have to decide that this is the scope. Then objective in which we will define like what we are trying to achieve by the heuristic evaluation. What, why we are doing it. So second one is objectives. So first, first step was assemble a team of evaluators. Second one is you have to define the scope and objectives. Now in third step. What you have to do is you have to select the usability heuristics. It means you have to select set of uh, heuristics uh, or principles that will serve as a evaluation criteria. So the most commonly used heuristics are Nielsen 10 heuristics or you can just create your own and uh, uh, create your own heuristics and evaluate the UI design of the product. So it's up to you which heuristics you want to use. But you have to select the usability heuristics before you are starting the heuristic evaluations. Then what you have to do is you have to familiarize your evaluators. That means you have to tell them what set of heuristics you are using. And uh, and uh, you, they should have the clear understanding of of the project uh, for which you are doing this heuristic evaluation. So you have to uh, do this thing after you have selected the usability heuristics. What you have to do is you have to familiarize your uh, evaluators with the projects and whatever the set of uh, heuristics that you are using, you have to familiarize uh, that also. So this is the uh, this is the fourth step in which you will familiarize your evaluators with the heuristics and what uh, what is your project that you want to evaluate. Then fifth one is 
you have to uh, evaluate the ui uh, independently that means each evaluator individually evaluate the ui they will use their own perspective and evaluate the ui against the heuristics that you have provided uh by doing that you will get different perspectives because there are there is a group of uh, evaluators who are uh, evaluating your project so you will get a wide range of perspective so you have to tell them that you will uh you will have to evaluate the ui individually okay so that's how you will get different perspectives and different ideas from different different evaluators so this is the fifth step in which you will conduct this heuristic evaluation individually in which the, the the evaluators will evaluate the ui individually with their own perspective against the heuristics that you have provided also you have to familiarize or you have to explain them that they can highlight any usability issue in the app or they can take a screenshot annotate that or they can also mark the violation to the heuristics so you have to explain them how they will evaluate the ui so that it will be helpful for them as well and they can evaluate your ui design effectively then sixth step is document the findings this is what we do in every uh, method uh, if, if we are doing a user research in that also we do a documentation so documentation is very important in which we will highlight all the findings that we have got from our evaluators and what are the improvements that we are that we will be doing in our product so you have to document all the insights all the uh, feedbacks from your evaluators you have to document that in your documentation when you when you have done your heuristic evaluation so you will highlight all the things like your findings and you will also include a detailed description of the issue that have arisen in the app that have that is highlighted by the evaluators and also uh, if there are you can also um, classify the violation to the heuristic by uh, by categorizing them like minor major like that so you have to document like that you have to document your findings and what are the problems uh, are present in your product by categorizing them in like major and minor so that's how you will document your findings because it's very important when you are doing the heuristic evaluation so that you can uh, refer the document when you are making improvements in your product then in seventh step what you can do is you can uh, schedule a collaborative meeting or a review session in which you will talk to your evaluators and uh, get the information about different uh, usability issues in your app and what are the violations uh, to the heuristics and using them you can make improvements and address which issue to take first which issue to address first you can discuss them with your evaluators and uh, then start improving your product if you do that if you do this collaborative workshop then it will only help you to identify which problems to take first and which problem to take last you can prioritize them according to the feedback of the evaluators then after you have done your collaborative review collaborative workshop then you can identify the issues and then categorize them uh, uh, based on their severity and potential impact on uh, usability doing that will help you to decide which issue to address first and also it will help the development team so after doing this collaborative review what you have to do is you have to prioritize the issue like which issue is the severe one and which issue is the minor so that you can address them one by one based on their importance 
after you have uh, done this you have prioritized the issue what you have to do is you have to provide this feedback feedback to your development team to your design team so that they can understand what are the issue and how they will approach them so after you have prioritized your issues then you what you have to do is you have to provide feedback to your development team and design team to explain them like which issues are the severe one and which are the minor ones and how you will approach those problems and uh, find the solutions so this is very important to communicate the development and design team with the uh, feedback about the heuristic evaluation that you have done it's common in ux design that some process is an iterative process that means it's keep repeating we will keep repeating it so that we can improve our product so it is same for heuristic evaluation uh, after you have made the changes after you have uh, made improvements to your product you can do the heuristic evaluations once again so that you can ensure improvements are made properly and your product has been improved after after heuristic evaluation so doing additional heuristic evaluation is useful because it will only enhance your product further here is this one thing that i want to add here you can also recruit some of the real user when you are conducting heuristic evaluation you can recruit them as a evaluators and give them all the information about heuristic evaluation like what are the heuristics are you, you are using and and against them you have to evaluate this ui design so when there are real users involved uh, they will un, you will understand their perspective better because they are the ones who will be using a product so if you are recruiting the real users that's the plus point because they are the end users of your product and they it will only enhance your product even further so try to recruit the participants or evaluators as real users because you will get very good insights value when you uh, recruit the real users so that's all for today uh, and if i have miss something please let me know in the comment section so that's all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful and if you did then do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and do not forget to follow me on instagram and linkedin link is in the description and i will see you all next time bye bye